Yo, it's T the God. I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. Trust none, nigga. I don't trust shit. Trust none, nigga. I don't trust shit. All right, we got T the God off the porch with us today. Yeah, what up, man? T the God. How you feeling today, bro? I'm I. Right. I'm good. I'm doing good. I appreciate you coming all the way from Iowa, right? All the way from D, Davenport, Iowa, man. Yeah, yeah. up yeah. north. Now that's what's up, man. What are you working on here in Atlanta for this trip? Uh, really just some marketing, just get stuff going. I got a single dropping. Okay. Uh, Paranoid hmm. Friday, May fifteenth. So try to get that going and, and yeah. see what it do. How often do you get down here to network? Uh, I'm trying to uh start coming at least once a month. Okay. At least. Yeah. Yeah, but with all the uh coronavirus and shit going on, you feel me? It's it's hard. Yeah. What have you been, uh, how have you been occupying your time during the quarantine? In the studio. Yeah. Making music, you feel me? That's it. Ain't shit else to do. Make music, go to LA, you feel me? Smoke a little bit, just chill. Okay. Go back to the crib, record. Yeah. So taking advantage of the downtime. Yeah, hell yeah. That's so. so, from Davenport, Iowa. Man. Yeah. What's life like in Davenport, Iowa? <laughs> it's boring shit, ain't shit really to do. You feel me? The big city shit. You ain't getting that in Davenport. It's ain't shit there. Yeah. That's it. It's it's boring as hell. That's why I try to travel a lot, feel me? Yeah. What was it like growing up there? It was cool. Like my life or just Yeah, your life, yeah. It was all right. You feel me? Everybody got their struggles. I wasn't the brokest, you know, I wasn't the richest. Um I, I wasn't in the middle either. So I'm 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 poor pretty much. I, I grew up poor. I'm gonna put it like that a little bit. So we didn't really have much, but we had some. Yeah. Has the city changed much since when you were younger to now? Uh, what you mean? Just like the city overall. Has it changed much? Not, uh, not the city, uh, people. You know, people change, not really, not too much of the city, but. Yeah. Uh, same stuff going on. Same shit, same shit. How old were you when you first jumped off the porch? <laughs> uh, like 16. Okay. 16, that's when, they, that's when I got busy. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's when I started getting busy. Yeah. All right. What's one of the biggest life lessons you learned while growing up in Davenport? Uh, really just to mind my business. You feel me? Don't really worry about the outside. Worry about myself and I'll be cool. Yeah. All right. And uh, you never rapped until two years ago. Is that right? Yeah. Never rapped. Never thought about rapping. I, I listen to music. I listen to everybody music, but I ain't never, never thought about it. Hmm. My homie was just like, get in the studio. I'm like, man, I don't rap. I do what I do. You feel me? He like, well, shit, what you do? Rap about this shit. So I'm like, shit, fuck it. Hmm. Started rapping. I did that song. And then after that, I just fell in love with it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Studio every day type shit. Like hmm. session after session. Hours, 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 and hours. Going crazy. Did it come natural to you? Yeah, it came natural. I, like, I'm still working on it. You feel me? I'm only two years in. Not even a full two years. Yeah. So I'm still trying to find my, my sound. Hmm. But... Were you, write, you. were you writing that yeah, first? I was writing that first. Okay. And then uh, maybe like a year ago, I started freestyle. Well, punching in. I punch mm. in. Yeah. yeah I, ain't wrote, I ain't wrote in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Feel yourself getting more and more comfortable each time you record? Oh, hell yeah. Like, I'm completely comfortable now. So when I'm recording, I just, you know, smoke my weed. You feel me? If I can't smoke, I'm still in my vibe. I'm, fin I'm finna get it in. You feel me? So. Yes, sir. Were people around you, were they surprised when you first started rapping? Hell yeah, because shit, I never brought it up. I never brought music up to nobody. Hmm. Feel me? So I called them all off guard. Hmm. Before you were rapping, what did you think you would be doing? <laughs> shit, man. Uh, I don't know. I'm a fella and shit. Hmm. I became a fella when I was 19, so I ain't really had no what I was going to do. Hmm. I ain't really had no nothing to look forward to. You feel me? What did you get arrested for back then? Uh, possession with attempt to deliver marijuana. No oh, shit. Yeah, just a smoke. It's crazy that, you know, most it's of the crazy, states man. it's now almost legalized fully. It's legalized right across the bridge. I live right right next to Illinois. I'm talking mm. about you cross the bridge, you right there. You feel me? Over there, it's fully legal. So shit, if I would, that would have happened, if I would have had what I had over there, I would have been good. You feel me? Yeah. But that's just how this shit played out. I mean, I live with it. Have there been talks of legalizing it in Iowa? I don't think so. They ain't gonna do that shit. Hmm. Maybe maybe down the road, but they ain't, I ain't heard shit about it. Yeah. 
Uh, what's the message in your music? You just rapping about your life or? What yeah, you more about my life. How, how motherfuckers fucked me over and how, how I turned that shit into, to, to like, like fuel to my fire. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So like, I talk about that a lot. I talk about, uh, my family a lot. A lot of shit that I've been through, you know, main stuff, my homies, my girl, main shit like that. Yeah. Is it very therapeutic to you? Yeah. I, yeah. Like. I listen to my music a lot. Yeah. I critique myself, feel me, all that. Like, if I don't like something, I'm gonna delete that song. Fuck it, I'm not gonna drop it. Or yeah. I go over my music a lot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Are there any songs that are kind of hard to listen to because they were so personal, or they take you back to a bad time in your life? Oh uh, yeah, I was just playing. Uh, matter of fact, I was just playing the song the other day, and I'm just thinking like, damn. Like I didn't even remember I recorded it, but when I played it, I'm just like. Oh yeah, okay. I'm talking that shit, but like it's um me personally, I probably feel more than how the audience will feel towards that song oh, yeah. because that's all me. That all that shit happened to me. You feel me? So, but that's unreleased, so I ain't even dropped that yet. Oh okay. Yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna throw that on the tape or something. Okay, for sure. Before you were rapping, how would you kind of vent and get those thoughts? And I wouldn't. <laughs> I was all just bottled up. Hmm. You feel me? I could talk to my girl. That's about it. Yeah. That's about it. And shit, I don't even, I, I couldn't even tell her everything because I didn't think she would understand. You feel me? So I just kept all that shit inside. Yeah. All right. So what's the music scene like back in Davenport? It's decent. You feel me? Uh, It's decent. Me personally, I'm trying to take that shit to the next level. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I want everybody in, in, in the QC, we call we got um, Davenport, Bendorf, Moline, Rock Island. It's like the cities around. So okay. I'm trying to take all that shit to the next level if my people let me. But we got we got a uh, we got a lot of artists that that's capable of doing something for sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are those artists are they pretty supportive of each other? Uh, some, <laughs> some, some more supportive than than others for sure. Yeah. See, me, I support them. I support everybody. But that's just how I am. Yeah. Has any rapper ever made a big out of Davenport? Nah, I'm going to be the first, though. Mm. I'm going to put it like that. I'm going to be the first one. Yeah. Mm. So, shit. Remember this interview. I'm going to be the first one. Mm. Are there any platforms in the city to kind of get your music out there or to showcase your talents besides, nah. like, the internet? Hell no. Nah. You just got the internet, social media. Ain't no... Ain't no um, concerts, ain't no shit. The radio stations don't even play local music. Really? Yeah, none of that shit. Oh, shit. Nothing, nothing. Is there at least a hip hop station? Yeah, it's a hip hop station, okay. but you ain't getting no local music on it. All at mainstream, all. huh? Yeah, all mainstream. Yeah. Any nightclubs? Shit, it was one, but it got shut down. <laughs> and now it's like this, it, it, nah, hell no. Nah. Mm. And you don't hear of too many artists even going to Iowa to perform like on no, tour. Yeah, no, no. If anything, like Des Moines or something, Iowa City. Okay. That's about it. Them probably like the two two cities. Yeah. What's it gonna take to for an artist to blow up from Davenport or Iowa? Shit, putting that work in. <laughs> like me, I'm gonna put that work in. You feel me? I'm, I'm I'm gonna get us there. Iowa gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna get us there for sure. Yeah, that's what's up, man. All right, and in only two years, you've already released four mixtapes and four EPs. Yeah, really, I think I dropped more than that because I got a couple of collab tapes with uh, I got with my brother Lil Naj. I got a another tape with uh, an artist named Trap Rock. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I got. Then I got my label two tapes. We got two tapes. Okay. So you feel me? It's really more. Hmm. So I got a lot of shit out there, man. Was that how you planned it when you first started your career? That you were just gonna flood the the streets? No, I'm just music, like or? I was just in the studio so much, hmm. and then I ain't know none of the. I just thought it was just shit. Make the music, drop the music. So I was making music, making music, dropping everything, dropping everything. Then I realized what you gotta do. You gotta, you feel me? You gotta make the mixtapes, and you gotta promote it and do all this. So I started dropping less and less. But I still drop a lot, hmm. just cause I I work so much. Yeah. So, how's the feedback been on your music so far? Oh, it's been decent. I get a, I got a good uh, support system for sure. Hmm. My fans, supporters, they, they, I fuck with them tough. I appreciate them. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. What's the first song you had that kind of blew up a little bit? We got you some attention. Uh, it was my first song. I, really? I, I hate it, but it was my first song. I got a song called Back At It. My hmm. first song, first video. I don't know. They fuck with it. I, I, me personally, I don't like the song. Just na- look, looking at uh, how far I like progressed. Okay. Looking back at it, I'm like, man, hell no. Nah. <laughs> that shit. That's what did it. Yeah. All right, so talk to us about this uh, new single you got coming out, Paranoid. Yeah, Paranoid. That's that's the one, man. Mm-hmm. We go, we gonna make that shake for sure. Yeah, Paranoid. That's the one. What are you rapping about on that? It's a pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, self-explanatory. <laughs> Paranoid. I don't trust nobody and trust none, nigga. I don't trust shit. You feel me? That's why I say that's the uh, hook. It's self-explanatory. Yeah. Who produced that single? Uh. I want to say Glockley. Yeah, Glockley. Mm. Yeah, Where's he from? For sure. I'm not for sure. Just IG. Let him okay. IG. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are there many producers out there in uh, Davenport? It's a few. Okay. I got uh, like three main producers I mess with. Three main producers. Just like I got two, three main cameramans. You know, I, I stick to my, my circle. I don't really like uh, reaching outside of my people. Okay. Just because I work better with, with my people, you feel me? So, yeah, it's just better like that for me. Is there like a specific sound coming out the city, or is it kind of uh, all over the place? No, it's everywhere because we in the mid, like, I live in the Midwest, so like, we get music from New York to Florida to Cali, from Atlanta, from shit everywhere, you feel me? Oregon, motherfucking Texas, everywhere. It's like all in one. Yeah. Like, I don't really think nobody sound like. This one person, like me, just like me specifically, I you can't say I sound like this person or I sound like him. Me personally, I don't think so. Who were some of your musical influences? Shit, uh, like I like uh, like 50, 50 Cent. Okay. Like older, but like newer, like Lil Baby, hmm. Dirk, you feel me, um, Herb. Okay. Stuff like that. Yeah. They're my three main right there. Do you put a lot of auto tune in your music as well? Yeah. Okay. I do both though. Like, I'm a rap auto tune. Do whatever. If that shit sounds good, I'm doing that shit. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. And uh, your recent single, Big T, this did pretty well on YouTube. Yeah, it's going up. It's like like 14k. Yeah. You can do better. You feel me? Always do better. But shit, me, that's a good number for yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 That's so why you had a challenge for that song as well. Yeah, all the bitches go crazy. <laughs> you check out my IG, T the guy uh, five six three. You see that shit? Hmm. Did you yeah. pick a winner yet? Nah, no. Nah. Shit, cause the okay. video steady coming in. Some of them I ain't post though. It wasn't even it wasn't even worth it. But shit. Yeah. What are you gonna give the winner? I'm like five hundred. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Five hundred. I'm probably do a new uh, challenge though for this new song. So I'm gonna hurry up, pick a winner for that, and start a new one up. Okay. Get the ball rolling. Yeah. Do you feel like that kind of helped get more views and yeah. more eyes on the song? For sure. You know, niggas, they, you see a female twerking, you feel me? <laughs> they definitely clicking on it. Big ass Zach. Come on. Big ass booty. They going crazy. Come on. Definitely, man. Um, are you working on a new project right now? No, I ain't working on no project. Just in the studio making songs, you feel me? Drop a single here, drop a single there. I want to have a, a project by the summer for sure. Like June, July. Okay. Yeah, title picked out yet? Yeah, but I, I ain't dropping it yet. Not okay. just yet. I probably drop it after the single, matter of fact. Okay. I got the cover art and shit too, just hmm. song wise, I ain't started it. Yeah. You've been working with any other artists recently? Uh not recently. I've been doing my own shit. Okay. Um Yeah, I mean like it's a it's a artist at home that I fuck with, like heavy. Hmm. That shit. They wanna get in the studio, we doing it automatically. You feel me? But other than that, I've been really doing my own thing. Yeah. Any plans to move out of Iowa soon? Hell yeah. I just got off probation in um December. Okay. You feel me? My girl in school. So when she get out of school, hmm. we out of there. Hmm. I'm really trying to get her to leave now, but I know she got stuff to take care of. So. Yeah. Where do you think you would go? Shit, to the A or LA. Okay. That's one of them two. Yeah. For sure. You got your own label. Yeah. Uh, Bag it up, gang. Yeah, B I G. Hmm. Yeah. How'd you come up with it? That's the game. Me and my nephew, we came up with that shit. Okay. Yeah, we came up with that shit. Then I hit my graphic designer. He made the uh, design, and shit, we've been running with it since. Hmm. 
I got the shit tatted on me. There you go. <laughs> uh-huh. B.I.G. You got any other artists on the label or is it just you right now? Uh, it's me. It's just me as the artist. But like my homies, we it's all game. But rapping wise, it's me. Okay. My other homie quit on me. Two of my, my nephew and my other homie quit on me. But really? they're still game. They're my brother. You feel <laughs> me? Yeah. Why they quit? I don't know. I think they just want to push me more, which okay. is all love. You feel me? But I want them to, to, I always tell them like, shit, get back in the studio. I want you to rap. I want you to do, but shit, I, I'm going to get them too. They will really. Yeah. Yeah. What's some of your goals for the label? Shit, be rich as fuck. Hmm. All my people be set. You feel me? I want us all to be equal though. Rich as hell. All of us, all our families good. Just, I want to make that happen really. Yeah. Be a household name. You feel me? Be rich as hell. That's all. That's all I want. All right, uh, what else you got coming up right now? You got Paranoid dropping this week. Yeah, I got Paranoid dropping. I got the video dropping. Uh, probably uh, have a couple challenges going on TikTok, Triller, okay. IG. Uh, shit, that's it for right now. Hmm. I'm, I'm waiting on this uh, little virus shit to pass, man. We got, yeah, I got big plans. If once I know for sure that shit over with, I got, I got some shit coming. Okay, cool. For sure. All right, any last words and shout outs before we get you out of here? Yeah, shout out all my fans, all my supporters. Shit, uh, shout out Off the Porch for having me. You feel me? Uh, shout out my gang, shout out my my family, shout out my bitch, you feel me? Because she really, matter of fact, she, she would really keep me together. <laughs> she, would keep, she would keep me sane, you feel me? So really, shout out her for sure. And then, yeah, man, we're just going to keep this shit going. For sure.